my dear brothers and sisters there are many tragic deaths happens around us even good people very holy people very prayerful people very much connected to god suddenly you hear them having unexpected deaths or tragic death and people have seen people asking god father why these things happens why did they die like this why don't god protect them from unexpected deaths like that why god did not save them from this terrible death accidents or many other deaths why god did not help them they are so prayerful so good and so connected to god but still is it a punishment is it because god has abandoned them or is it because god is, doesn't care for them so why these people die like this you must have heard many questions even i have seen this uh, in in different people's life unexpected tragedies and that is also not a normal ordinary peaceful death but terrible deaths and i used to wonder why god did not do anything okay if if a person who is living a sinful terrible dirty life we can understand we we may have some reasons to say that okay it is because of his life he went through these kind of thing but there are so many good people so many good and holy people who had gone through the same kind of tragic deaths or tragic incidents in their life What does Bible say about it? Let's read Wisdom chapter 3 verse 1 onwards. Wisdom chapter 3 verse 1 onwards. The Lord says, The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God and no torment will ever touch them. The Bible says, The souls, whether you die in a beautiful way or tragic way, ordinary way or extraordinary way the souls of the righteous are in the hand of god no torment will ever touch them so it's bible speaks about souls not about the bodies but souls of the righteous are in the hand of god no torment will ever touch them once they have dead no torment no suffering no struggle will touch them if they are so good and holy the terrible death that they have gone through is their purgatory and therefore they don't need to go through another tormentation and and struggle they are intact in the presence of in the hand of god verse 2 in the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died and their departure was thought to be a disaster so when foolish people ordinary people when they look at these people who are so good righteous people their death seem to be a disaster their death seem to be a tragedy their death seem to be an unexpected one and foolish people in the eyes of the foolish people that is the end of these people's death a life and their life is a disaster i mean their death is a disaster their departure was not an ordinary peaceful way but a terrible and tragic they feel they feel the foolish people think as if god is punishing them looks like a punishment a disaster but god says the souls of these people the righteous people are safe in the hand of god in the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died and their departure was thought to be a disaster they try they died an unexpected death tragic death and terrible death but god says god they are in the hand of god verse 3 and they are going from us to be their destruction bible says so when they leave from this world it looks like a big destruction but bible says but now they are at peace for those who are living here on earth when they see these people dying a terrible tragic death they feel it's a destruction but god says they are at peace they are at peace was for for though 
in the sight of others they were punished you know when people look at oh they lived a holy life but god punished them they lived a holy prayerful life but still see what a tragic death in the for though in the sight of others they were punished but their hope is full of immortality but god says they are full of immortality they are living forever in the eyes of others they are punished they are gone they are destruction disaster but in front of god they are at peace they are enjoying they are in the in the full of immortality verse 5 having been disciplined a little maybe they have gone through a terrible tragic death it's a small penance or maybe so small purification having been disciplined a little they will receive great good because god tested them and found them worthy of himself because god tested them and found them worthy of himself therefore they are at peace so if you have any family member who has gone through who has lived a holy life good life righteous life always connected to god and suddenly unexpected death maybe some suffering maybe some kinds of serious sickness and tortured and gone through terrible pain and suffering and died maybe unexpected deaths like accidents maybe some other tragic deaths and now you have so many questions in your mind god is giving you the answer don't worry god has found them worthy of himself they are at peace they are full of immortality in front of the world they seem to be gone through punishment or disaster destruction but in front of god they are at peace be happy